Okay, you, um, well, here we are. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's late. It's, I guess it's after 4 o'clock on, on uh, Wednesday night, the last day of the, of the SSCR 24. And I'm talking to Miriam Diamond. The, uh, your title's president, right? Yes. Uh, president of the World Blind Union. And you're from Australia. How are you holding up? Because you've been here for quite a while. That's right. This is the um, tenth day we've been here. We started with an air of enthusiasm and uh, willingness by all to uh, work collaboratively on the text. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't resist. And, and <laughs> hopefully... Sorry, you've got to stop. <laughs> you go. Fear with the interview. No, I can. I can. You, uh, it would be good to have you in the interview, actually, Carlo. You know, you can. Yeah, that would be good. Very, I'm so serious and so tired that I thought I should. Be. Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay, do you want me to start again? No, that's fine. You're, you're okay. saying. You're, I'm sorry. You're saying you've been here for ten days, so. Right? That's right, and um, I guess when we started, that there was an air of um, interest, enthusiasm in the room to collaborate and reach a final agreement of the text of the treaty for blind and print disabled people. And uh, it was good to note that in the interventions from member states that all but two, the EU and the USA, said that their hope for the meeting was to reach agreement on the text and a call for a treaty, a diplomatic conference for a treaty, which we were very uh, pleased to hear. As now we're at day 10, I guess we haven't quite got there. So on one level, we're disappointed. There is a single text, there is a lot of brackets, there is some good stuff in the text, but it isn't ready yet and there isn't um, agreement on it. Um, the conclusions are being developed now. We hope that sense prevails, wisdom of the member states prevails, and that contained in those conclusions is a recommendation to the General Assembly of WIPO in 2012 a call for a diplomatic conference in 2013 to, for a treaty for the blind and print dis disabled of the community. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. Is that wow. what you want? <laughs> pretty and, good, pretty good. Uh, and, and, and Raul, uh, uh, would you like to add anything? I think Miriam has got it bang on. But what I'm very uh, encouraged by is that there seems to be a very clear division now. No. Right, which wasn't so apparent earlier about the people who want the treaty and people who don't want the treaty. And it was all kind of cloak and dagger stuff about you know who wants a treaty, who doesn't want a treaty. But at, at this point of time, we know clearly that everybody in the developing world wants a treaty, and the European Union, uh, European Union don't want a treaty. Of course, we have to now convince them to want a treaty. But at least our fight becomes much easier if we know who who we have to fight. But I'm sorry, I maybe I I, I, I maybe missed that. But who, who are the opponents of the treaty? Yes, the U.S. and the European Union, Jimmy. Okay, but okay, I think that's it's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> that's accurate. It's but uh, <laughs> 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 all right. Well, thank you. Is there anything you, you, either one of you would like to add before we, we conclude the interview? No, but we're we're optimistic that by the end of this evening, that things will look better than the way we feel they are right now. All right, all right. And Dan, would you like to add anything? No, thanks. Okay, all right, great. <laughs> <laughs> Short and sweet.